Hi everyone, it's the Disney Budget Mom here with another cash stuffing. If you haven't already, I would appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. Here on my channel, we talk everything cash budgeting with a side of Disney and Stony Clover. So this is my <laughs> Elliot the Dragon wishable. The Main Street Electrical Parade is back and I am very excited because I have a lot of fond memories of watching the parade as a child. So anyway, this is actually take, I don't know, 502 technical difficulties and mom life. And it seems to be one of those mornings. So I've already emptied out my wallet. Um, the only envelope I did not empty out is my son's uh, envelope. This is his allowance. He has $40. Um, I'm going to roll that over. He helps me by making coffee every morning, uh, shredding papers, and now he has taken on additional responsibilities like feeding our companion, AKA our dog, and going on walks with me. Um, well, walking our dog, Iggy, he helps. So, gets a little more responsibility, gets a little extra pay. I did already empty out uh, my wallet and we do have some rollover. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 dollars. Um, I would normally put these fives in my five dollar challenge. I'm going to do something a little different. These, okay, thank you, bud. These uh, d dollars are, I will put these in my son's piggy bank, so I'll put these to the side. The five dollars we're gonna do something different with. And um, so there, I, I feel like there's a hole in my videos and I feel like I need to explain. So I do pay my bills online, so I do not stuff them. Um, I keep a very meticulous spreadsheet that I check constantly every day throughout the day. And I update it as I make purchases or make payments, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I don't feel the need to stuff those. I do have some credit card debt. I hope I will pay it off by the end of the year. Um, I consider it a bill, so I don't stuff for that. So what I do stuff for is my wallet and some sinking funds. So let's see how much cash we are stuffing today. And another thing I do is I do make electronic transfers to four of my sinking funds the 10K challenge, the pre, my pre-K emergency and dream key. Um, those I uh, do electronic transfers either to Ally or Capital One. So we'll talk about dream key a little bit more later on in this video. So this is the cash that we're stuffing, 50, 100. Two, four, six, eight, ten, two hundred, two, four, six, eight, ten, three hundred, ten, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. So three, twenty five. And if you hear a little noise, that's my son playing in the background. The birds are out, they're chirping. So let's start off with my wallet. Excuse me. Are you blinking? Okay, my Diet Coke gets its usual $20. How is everybody doing today? This morning? It's Friday. Friday. Fuel is getting $60. I feel like I still can't gauge how much gas I need, which is so bizarre to me. Um, I did allocate $60 uh, for two weeks and that didn't that kind of seemed to work but I also supplemented with some money that was going to go back into the bank so I pumped an additional well I pumped an additional 15 and I have about half a tank so I think 60 might be the sweet spot I, I added those extra 15 because I thought rather than take $15 back to the bank or whatever just put it in my gas tank. Um, so anyway, I think 60 is the sweet spot, long story short. So I am alternating how I fold these bills, a la Katie Budgets. 
she this is her pro tip and it's life-changing okay spend is going to get 30 and this was getting 20 but I had some side hustles I sold some things and you know I'm able to give it a little more cushion and I do get paid bi-weekly so <laughs> this money lasts for two weeks somehow miraculously uh, corn dogs is everything food related not necessarily corn dogs um, and food is getting 120 so two fifties and a 20 um, you know I throughout the week the months I you know I obviously do make some purchases on my credit card I you know I have a buffer in there I, I do I am able to cover those things so I'm not like super strict like this is the only money that I have and can use so that's just kind of how my budget works so it works for me I'm, I'm fine with it now web slingers my son's envelope he is actually getting 25 he was getting 20 but because he has added responsibilities i thought he should get a little bit extra pay so he's getting his 20 and i'm going to take a five from the rollover and he'll get 25. so two four six 65. now does he need 65 dollars probably not but it's his money and i'm going to give it to him at the end of the day it's all his money it's just divvied up into uh different envelopes so okay give give is a new envelope in my wallet i thought it was really important to um, teach my son the importance of charity so give is going to get five singles one two three four five this is going to be an envelope that I do not um, empty. It will just roll over, if there is any rollover. So, there's my cash, cash, cash. <laughs> ah, there is my cash wallet. <laughs> Struggle bus today. Okay, I'll put that to the side. Um, Let's go into my sinking funds. How cute is my couch? Isn't it cute? I am okay, thank you for asking. So as I mentioned, I do make some electronic transfers. I know that's not as fun as stuffing an actual envelope, but because I'm dealing with some larger amounts, I just feel like, um, electronic transfer works better for me and it's just easier so nothing in my 5k challenge or my five dollar challenge because i'm gonna roll those over to different categories and you will see um, my 10k challenge i did deposit 325 dollars um into this challenge i transferred that into what do i have capital one so we now have a total of 2450 in the 10k challenge preschool again i am you know depositing some pretty large amounts so i just don't want to put it in this um envelope and let me go back and actually you know count i do have prop money because i like to i'm visual and i like to see you know so the progress even if it's prop money so 1000 2000 one two three four i was going to okay good job but um i was going to make a 50 dollars placeholder i just i mean i am going to make it i just haven't gotten around to it so anyway i have 2450 in that 10k challenge preschool Oh, preschool. So preschool, I deposited 155. So I have 1,000, uh, 1,500, six, seven, eight, nine. I have $1,900 in Ally. I this envelope just ebbs and flows too. Not in the amount. Well, 
yeah, in the amount that that I uh, contribute to, but also my son is now going to summer school, so I had to take out a little bit of money out of this envelope uh, to pay for class, so. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, 1900 for preschool. Emergency got $100, and Emergency now has 1150 I have a $1,000 placeholder and $100 placeholder, so 1100 I need to make a $50 placeholder for this one as well. This one goes into my High Yield Ally account as well. They just increased my rate, so... It's okay, bud. It's okay, bud. So, um, yeah. Dream key. My dream key, I deposited $120 and it now has $550. I have a $500 placeholder. I guess I need a third $50 placeholder to put in here. It was transferred into my ally account, but a little story with the dream key. I just found out that our dream keys might not renew. They expire in September. <sighs> it's kind of a bummer. I'm still going to stay for it because I feel like they're going to offer something. So I want to be prepared. But I am <clears throat> tapering off how much I contribute to it until I get a little more news on it. I spoke to a cast member and they pretty much confirmed. They said they're not renewing the top two tiers, which is, I have, my son and I both have the dream key. Um, and if once my, our keys expire, we can purchase any of the available ones, but I'm not going to purchase a dream, a key that doesn't have all access because, you know, we want to go when we want to go. That's period. So anyway, still going to save for it. Not as much. I actually just purchased tickets. <laughs> Uh, because we have family coming in and my reservation was blocked and now I have a re reservation through my key so I'm saving the extra tickets uh, I just purchased a one day ticket for my son and myself we'll just save uh, for Halloween since our pass expires at the end of September so anyway Disney always figures how to get money out of us um, and whatever, I'm fine with it. That's just our lifestyle. Okay, so Dream Key has 550. My car beep beep gets $35. So that's uh 20. Give me a sec, bud. Thank you. Thank you for the kiss. 20, 30, and 35. Okay. Was that 35? Yes. I'm a little confused. Feel like I have should have had another five. What did we do? I think I swapped. Yes, I should have swapped. Anyway, whatever. It's five dollars. So let's see. Ten. Five. So now my car should have two hundred and sixty-five dollars. Two, four, six, eight, ten. One hundred. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two hundred. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 265, and my maintenance light finally came on, so I think it's oil change time. All right, gifts is getting its usual 40, and I did take some of this cash and deposit it into the, um, the bank. Uh, just so it can get a little interest. So I have one, two, three hundred in the bank. And in cash, I have two, four, six. So I have $360 in gifts. You know, I buy gifts and then I just cover it with my buffer. Um, so I'm letting this one grow. I don't know. Just, I have a hard time taking the money out of my sinking fund for some reason. So. It's like, all right, well, I purchased something. Let me side hustle for it. Let me cover it with buffer. Let me sell something. I mean, I have so much Tony. And I have a 
uh, buy sell trade group on Facebook. Um, it's called um, Stony Clover Lane BST Collective with over 4,700 members and we are constantly buying and selling and trading there. So I feel like, you know, if I have a piece that I haven't used in a while, you know, I will sell it and maybe cover something, you know, that I, that I purchased. That's just, it's, it's been working. It's good. So 360. <laughs> so now back to school is a new envelope for me. Um, my son is starting school in June. Um, it was kind of last minute. There's a summer school opening. He starts pre-K in September. And I thought, well, I think he should probably get acclimated to school by going to summer school. It's only two days a week. Preschool's only going to be two days a week too, but the hours are longer. Um, so he kind of gets into the groove and realizes, okay, this is now the routine. Um, so I figured I'd better start a back to school envelope sooner rather than later. Uh, so back to school is going to get those two fives that are left. So $10. And I think I'm just going to put $10 into this envelope. I see so many people put five and $10 into envelopes and it really just grows exponentially. So I'm getting on the five $10 bandwagon and um, I'm going to make room in my budget for this now. So back to school now has $10. <clears throat> so that is my cash stuffing for this pay period, so one, two, three, four dollars will go into my son's piggy bank. And I hope that you enjoy my cash stuffing. I really would appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, and a follow on Instagram too. I am also the Disney budget mom there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.